with reference to NASA's orbiting carbon observatories program consider the following statements what he is talking about he is talking about the NASA's orbiting carbon observatories program basically this question was framed based on the recent happening where the US administration has proposed to end two missions under the program one is OCO1 OCO2 and OCO3 these are the three missions under this program this OCO1 has been launched in 2009 however after its launch the mission failed and as a replacement mission this OCO2 has been launched in 2014 and again in 2019 OCO3 mission has been installed on the International Space Station. This OCO program the objective is it provides the critical data regarding the global carbon dioxide emissions and about the vegetation health. Let us go through the statements. The OCO2 is capable of measuring both atmospheric carbon dioxide levels and plant photosynthetic activity. The statement is true. Second one, the OCO3 is installed on in the International Space Station to provide global carbon dioxide measurements. This is also true. And the primary objective of the OCO mission is to monitor the methane emissions from the natural and anthropogenic sources. This is false because the primary objective is about the monitoring of the carbon dioxide emissions from the natural and anthropogenic sources. Hence, this statement is false. So, option 1 and 2 are correct. That is statement 1 and 2 correct. And hence, option A is the correct answer.